The average price tag for a year of college now over $30,000. So for many students, that can mean years of massive debt. But you're about to meet some enterprising young women and men who've chosen a different path. One that involves a few nights a week of industrious work. Oh, and did I mention it includes taking their clothes off? Here's my Nightline co-anchor, Juju Chang. But like all my classes, like they're like mostly discussion based. Maggie looks very much like the straight A, straight lay student that she is. I've got like tons of papers too. Dino is majoring in international trade. Both are studying hard for college, but for now, this is how they pay their tuition. They're part of a new generation of students putting themselves through college by taking their clothes off and they're unapologetic about it. Essentially, you're a student by day and a stripper by night. Yeah, sometimes a student by night and a stripper by day, it depends. <laughs> Double major, Spanish poli-sci. She plans to graduate debt-free. Every other weekend, she takes a three-hour train ride to Manhattan. Sometimes I'll leave Baltimore straight from work and I'll take like the four o'clock train and I'll sleep on the train and then be awake by the time I get to the city. To the Bright Lights Big City Dance Club called Scores. Fellow dancer Jade says she's studying for five finals. They're like, you don't belong to a place like this. Like, yes, it's so silly. All people will be like, you're too pretty to work at a place like this. No, we just want to make three times the amount of money we're going to make when we graduate. And there are guys that come in for company and they want the girl next door. So I'm the girl next door. There are some women who would feel like, oh, you know, you should use your brains and not your body. This takes a lot of brains. It In takes, what way? It takes a lot of brains. I think that you... A girl can be really pretty and not make any money in this field or like she can not be that pretty and make a lot of money because so much of it is about like interpersonal skills. With college bills up to 60000 a year, today's grads are saddled with crushing debt. Economists say it's actually slowing down our economy because young adults can't afford to buy big ticket items. Maggie found a provocative solution, working just four nights a week. How much do you make a year? I make about $180,000 a year. That's incredible. <laughs> That's what, like, you know, a first-year law associate would make. That's if not it, more. Critics argue taking it all off for the allure of easy money can sometimes derail your pursuit of higher education. You could make a really pretty good living stripping at scores full-time. Why go to college? Don't tell your mother I asked you that question. <laughs> you can only really do it until you're so old so it's not something that's really sustainable you're like supposed to like do it until you get where you need to go in life and then that's it's use exhausted I don't it's know, a like, stepping stone for you right exactly it's not yeah. a career and i enjoy it i do enjoy it but it's not what i want my life pursuit to be mm -hmm. turns out there are currently 24 women at scores alone who are putting themselves through school on the other side of the city at show palace we meet this 18 year old criminal justice major who goes by the stage name egypt doing this means proving to people that strippers aren't always the stereotypical slut um, we work hard um, even if it's showing our bodies we, we, we work hard we're, we're about our business egypt started dancing after reading about bell knox the Duke University student who suffered severe backlash on campus after she went public about doing porn to pay for college. I, like most other people, have been watching porn since I was, um, since, I was, since I was 12 years old. What? Are you serious? Uh, yeah. The story went viral. Dude, she's 18 and doing porn. Why not me, you know, become a stripper? Which is why Egypt was so eager to chat with Knox when the Duke porn star came to her strip club. But their eccentric answer to the college debt problem is not always met with enthusiasm. My parents, when they found out, were totally horrified. Do you ever um, worry that your studies and your brain power will be undercut by the fact that you take your clothes off for on the side? I think that I wouldn't want to work for anywhere that would judge me based on that. And I think that times are changing. Times may be changing, but attitudes don't change so quickly. There's still a good segment of our society who thinks it's degrading for a woman to be a stripper. <laughs> it can be. It can be. There are times that it feels 
like that. When does that happen? When guys are disrespectful, they think that we are degrading ourselves by doing this job at all, so they don't have a problem in degrading us further. Maggie says stripping affords her the precious time to study. She makes more in one night at the club than working 40 hours a week waiting tables. I have felt so much more disrespected as a waitress than I've ever felt as a dancer. Because your job is to serve them. Yeah. And in this, like your job is to accompany them, to entertain them. Like it's it's glamorous. She may find it glamorous at times, but Maggie points out what many agree is a double standard in the way strippers are treated. Definitely notice the double standard there, like with men being fawned over by all kinds of women, like it's they they semi-gods you know like it's like it's a it's definitely a status thing it's like oh my gosh you're hot enough to be a male stripper <laughs> in fact that's exactly what happens to Dino my friends think it's awesome they think it's cool they're like oh I wish I could do that you know that they, they like they really like admire the fact that I do that Dino performs at New York's Hunkamania but he's one of the few in college so what made you think all right I'll try stripping well you know we <laughs> That sounds cocky, but you just look in the mirror. This is a great way to make money. It's easy, it's fun. It's not hard, strenuous work. You go out, you meet girls, you go on stage, you perform. And his buddies all whoop it up when they discover his extracurricular activity. Nobody is dissing you or disrespecting you for doing it. No, no, not, not me. 500 girls a night paying you, you know, just to dance and show them a good time. So You're living the dream. Pretty much. Never a good idea, uh, you know, to strip, to make money, to pay for college. Former college counselor Robert Franick says there are other options. There are so many financial aid resources available to students and families to pay for college. This year alone, there's $180 billion available in state and federal aid, and making too much money on the side could actually disqualify you. So when we think about it, making sure that you're a great college student is your job. I think it's so easy for so many students, if they're making so much money, for them to lose sight about their goals of being in school. But one thing these women would agree on is that they have a limited number of years in this line of work where youth is prized. I'm not looking forward to like the end of this, like when I'm out of school and I'm living on less and I'm working so much harder. Which is why they're busy taking advantage of what some now call the G-String Scholarship. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in New York.